Hello everybody, I'm going to play something a bit different uh, called Before Your Eyes. Apparently a game about blinking. You can use your webcam to track your blinking, so I'm a bit excited and kind of weirded out what's going to happen here. But uh, let's get started. This is a game about blinking. See every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works. Not blinking on the white symbol. Oh, hello. You see a metronome and blink. Jump forward. Keep blinking. This is weird. That's a boat. Boy. It's mine! Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or oh. hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? Mm, better word than that. Ah! Premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Is that dictionary? I feel phosphorus. Phosphorus. Big scary one. That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm going to present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault. Sing liar. Lay about. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but... I know how to spin a yarn, if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. 
I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Oh, no. A second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. I like now, the Wheel of Time the next thing. next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. And With just four eyes. try to enjoy it this time. Oh. Oh, this would be excellent in VR, I think. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's go get you some seashells, what do you say? Oh, I love seashells. You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, okay. that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree. Golden flowers. Slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Where's the first page of my piece? No way. I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it? No. Oh no. Stupid seagull. Okay. Go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. Maybe one year old. Every birthday. That's a great idea. Dude, it will really be something to see how he grows. Man, the zoom on this thing is fantastic. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Now where was I? Oh. Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, it sounds no, no, it's clipping. perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? <laughs> I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yeah. I'm very I like to control this. Pop, pop, pop. Oh no, it caught me blinking. What do you think he's thinking about? Uh, I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, What's that? Just a boat. I think he's going to be smart. I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be. Necessarily. You're right. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. Hey. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Oh, that's 
That's your sure, little mess of color. Where did you go? Bro. Oh. oh. Made it. It's pretty. At it. One day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. See? That used to be my piano. Maybe grand piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. hope to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get attached. Why is it? Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Aww. What's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But while he's here, I say we call him. Hello, Annie. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Oh, nice cat. Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> friend on your piano there. Hit you again? Oh. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. Yep. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you oh. want to go? If you could only go to one. What about Greece? Oh, I didn't get to his comment. I blink too often. Serious piano lessons. Yeah, sure. But you know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. She's very gifted. Rich That's my height and uplifting. Five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Don't worry. That's a cat. I already did. Oh, thank God. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Excuse 
Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the file between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Oh, no, you peed. Bad cat. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. This is called a metronome. We use it to metronome. measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me when I was about I'm home, Dad. the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I, I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. out you really need to stay in time with the metronome okay subdivide the time one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and oops there you go buddy okay now keep a firm grip on it just like that oh my <laughs> oh no like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but. Damn. Ernie, Ernie! Buddy! Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! God, El, what if you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. God, honey, I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? <laughs> Uh-huh. And that was based on... The old distance. Say that one. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. Oh. I don't know. I didn't think about it. It just... It just happened. We just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop... He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean... Can you be able to pick up the new book? Yes. Galleons of particular interest. No, I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. That's what you mean. It's a new extension, right? No, no. It's my right on learning. I'm native. This is Australia. Keep playing away from the scenes I want to see more of. I know, it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. 
but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Have you stuck? Chris said, find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Oh, the F didn't disappear. I want that box full by the time I come in there. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Congratulations, B! First of many, I'd assume. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Oh shoot, I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to, but you can try. No, I didn't. Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. Wow, Elle. He's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but... I haven't done that in years, not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do? The class is world history. And I bet it. I was very good. The class will be broken up in... Hey, you. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Be a weird neighbor kid. When it's in class, what coincidence? Please keep in mind that while we're at school, don't know each other. This Not talk to me ever. I want each of you to write it down. Okay. Not doodle on the side. That's not nice. Not stare off into space. I'm blinking. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um. Right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. Oops. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. 
half suspect he bought it for himself. <sighs> the little guys are pretty cute, he though. Skipping the ones I want to see more of. The job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Conch... what? Constus. New Constus Testus has approached. What a weird game. I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? <laughs> That's a very interesting detail. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Bert. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life can take you to some incredible places if you're really, really good at something. He says, you've had so much trouble making friends at Playco. I want you at a place where people really... So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year? Yep, David. Well, ten but clarity, uh, 48 bullets and fuses. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no. Yeah, this feels very much VR. I just want you to try, and we can see if you start enjoying it. Even just a distortion at the edges. I'm looking around sometimes. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You're well behaved, kid. Need to crumble anything. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Hmm. One of Chloe made that. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Sure, have fun. See you, talk to you later. I just wanted to play the piano, but I just didn't. I don't think I have the discipline. Is she really calling you again? What is she obsessed with you? She talked calls twice. So oh, damn it! Ah, didn't A catch newbie you. Is in the presence of my art, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amamet, and she's got... Whoops. And yes, that's a Mr. She, Kid. The head of a crocodile, yes. fur Look. of a lion. See, Here we neighbor kid. And the body of a hippopotamus. Though I would not say that to her face. Tonight, after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out of my house and go to sleep on the beach. I'm going to get invited to draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. Who do not pass judgment. Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. So I am not quite. I'm going to get in trouble now, aren't I? Ew, why is he so scared looking? 
Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my call, dude. Dude? Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Rip that! Let me have a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean this with no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Oh, no. I suppose you're right. Oh, Ricky, please. Oh. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Now it's gonna... Danny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says you say. It promise. Wow. I didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now, okay? You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So, I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is a tomato. But Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school. But I also like hanging out with you the most. Which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot. Which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year, in a lot of ways. Damn it. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. Not then. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. That's enough. So, that was very mean. Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? All right. All right. Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. 
Not very good mother, is she? Is at the moment. From school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. Oh, my eyes hurt. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Am I sick or uh, what? Place. Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. I really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera. Ca Art school is question three in two short paragraphs. Describe what he makes you want to pursue Korean arts. Ah, that's smart. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. Sit there, slack jawed. Make art, you ponies. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, why not? Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. Very zany, very kitsch. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. Well, they need being nice. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. Abstract. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You 
see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Brim. For I fear yeah. a talent like these you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. Benjamin Brill. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He's flipped the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. My eyes hurt. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Up out. What is... Should I do it? Should I not do it? I've got a good feeling about you. We're going to make a lot of money together. Aren't we? Maybe. To actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Now that you've made it, tell me, what are you going to do with it? To my roots. Eyes of steel at human. Hey ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and well, I'm, I'm gonna be a little sick for a while, but really, oh, no. I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're at such an important moment in your career, and. No! But. That's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? <laughs> that was meant to happen. Be say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? Talk, Benny. Guess who's calling? Again. 
man. Look, you know I talk to big, important people, people who could change your life every day. What the hell am I supposed to say? What do you want me to say? That I haven't heard from my star... She didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? That's so fascinating, son. Billy Fishman. Stop it. A life in painting. Passing day inspired by a musical composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens. Relatively unknown in her life, Brian left his mother's work out of obscurity with the creation of this piece. He's now considered to be one of the great composers of the time. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. And your mom. Launchpad. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Sure. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. Woo-hoo-hoo! You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack! With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa-ho-ho! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I had realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but... Whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right. 
proper composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? I think I'm going to go for happy because I loving parents. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh, what did you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? Composer. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster? I think it changed at the end, but... Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was ever encouraging, teaching him to recognize the greatness within. How about that neighbor girl, huh? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or first love? Now best be friend. Now don't be bashful, man. You can tell me. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, oh. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you Scum dolls! You mucky fowls! All right! I get it! I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I had assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. Kind of figured. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. <laughs> You're a flea-bitten sap, you know that? Yeah. Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. 
What are you talking about? Look, I craft. Yes, this is a bit different, I suppose. I don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, Quack. you're trying to blink right past it. Why? Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. What are you doing? What are you talking about? But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Uh, okay. Bring it all over again. Not this. Now, oh. C major chord I taught you. Remember? C major. Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Oh? Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C... I want to pet the kitty. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking... I might be a work of genius, just as I was. I get all this. We need to move. This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? I didn't hear because I blinked away. Keep your eyes open. I need to see. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'll Let's try this. It's really hard. I've used my eyes too much. I'm getting closer. Ah, damn it. Keep your eyes open. Did we do it? I'm getting it. I think we did. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. Oh, he died. <gasps> before I got to meet him. Oh. Oh, what see, she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Subdivide Let's move. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. I'm eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. Yes, Kitty. I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. This thing again. And one more time. Yeah, blink right away. Oh, did the cat die? Yeah, Coyote got the cat. Thanks. I swear to God, if you blink again. I did it. Yeah. 
death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. I know you want to stay here, ma'am, but we don't have the time. So they pick me great. I'm worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. We need to move. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is it Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Let you two go. Next one, isn't it? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, this one. We can focus on the tree. I didn't blink. I understand that it's difficult. That's why I need to see it. Staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want him to hear us talking about this. Ah, damn it. This is for your own good, man. Keep them open. Time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, but listen, you're having him home for low means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want him to hear us talking about this. Um, I craft a half a webcam. Uh, looking at my face, and whenever I blink, I kind of progress. I mean, what's the point? Like, best thing, if I blink there, when I'm looking there, that'll do something there. With, with the medicine room at the bottom, whenever that pops up and I blink, it'll skip to the next scene. Does it want me to close my eyes? I suppose it does. What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something? I have something? my eyes closed. I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon, at the top of your lungs. sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. I think I'll be on my side or not. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Oh. Try writing with it. 
Und das ist der Schuld. Hi, Mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Story of who you're going to become, okay? Oh. Oh. Great life of Benjamin Brin. His childhood was a happy one. I'm out in a loving home, raised by a loving, by loving parents, in a quaint village by the sea. His mother was a composer, who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. There's the longest piece of paper. We've been out. I was going to type everything. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. <laughs> best friend? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes. So try to get comfortable. Uh, I am getting it. You're Damn it. Great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? I'm not gonna keep my eyes open for 30 minutes. Not even as a joke. You're going to be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Go. Oh. Can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. You're not very quiet out there, are you? Love it. Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. I, I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those cool words! It reads like Dickens! <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. All alone again. Oh, that's a cool crocodile. What's that sound? Benjamin Brin was a loser. He was the worst Brin to ever live. 
He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. Give us all over. I think this is why we came in, wasn't it? So, if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest. This sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. Oh, and then the pain subsides. Oh no, I'm getting a uh, fuck. Getting some flashbacks to Life is Strange. It's just manageable now. Num num num. Get some pills. To drink. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no. That's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole... Tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Kelly wants to talk. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed about our night at the beach together, so you're avoid- I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Wait, is that? That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that?
Keep playing, B. She's listening. Some of it. Drink. Get whale soon. Oh, hello, cat. Now sit down, you. Just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. What? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. Hey, shut it. Is that missed call? Can't see. Twenty nine missed calls. Oh, shit. Hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with. Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. <laughs> you do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about Stay here. the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But. Hey! What are you looking at? Huh. Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Okay. Dear Weird Neighbor Kid. Is this gonna destroy me when I read it? Or <laughs> destroy me more than I am? You are my best friend. Love, Chloe. That's nice. I can't eat a lot. Can't drink anything. Can't click. What 
What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. Kind of cool when you close your eyes and... Uh... It just gives an effect to it. It's first day. Can't eat, can't anything. Be brave. It's okay, Benny, I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard, it's like I can't breathe. Like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Huh. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Very pretty here. Yeah. It's the kitty cat. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. completely stopped. So let me blink. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home. To an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or... At least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, 
she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy. And promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world, and he made her feel okay again. And even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them of exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So, so when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life, a full life. And he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. Steps. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's going to let you in. Go on. You Why know is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. If I was a Kickstarter. His mother came in, told her her story. That destroyed me. Holy shit. A lot of words coming through my mind in the moment, but I can't really put any. But not a lot of words, a lot of thoughts going through my mind during this game, but I can't really put words to them. In the end, it's all about finding the beauty in a. See if you can find some beauty in the end of things.
small things. It's usually what matters the most and what we remember. No good monkey. I should wrap the ending to that song. Strange. Will I clock in at one hour, one hour and thirty minutes? That's, uh, I dare say, uh, I would universally recommend this game to be played by anyone. It's not really a game, is it? It's more of an experience. Great element for storytelling. Great media for storytelling. a successful Kickstarter. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of people. funny like the mother she uh, well she cracks down a few times but you kind of thinking of it because of something he did the Benjamin boy and it must make if that was a real person it must have made him feel really terrible well it made me feel real terrible that she wasn't there but then she just kind of came back strong and a bit better she kind just Chop it off, send him off. Just give that closure. What an interesting game. What an interesting game. Enable on screen webcam feed. Oh, that been ugly. Not just because of my appearance. <laughs> Alright. This was going to be a short stream anyway. Had a long walk today. Not a lot of other things I played at the moment. I'm, I'm still preparing for the next game. Not really sure what it's going to be yet, but I think it might be Skyrim VR. It takes a while to set up though, and I need to make sure that I actually do get, um, do get, what do you call it, do get, uh, oh. I actually do get a, a performance enough so I can actually stream it, like that was an issue last time I tried it. But I hope you enjoyed this magnificent game, please give it a try, because well, you might have experienced it second-hand here, it, the, the, the way it's done, the blinking and everything, is just something else. And... I just think that's it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it here with the, the soothing music in the background. 
no ending credits, no nothing. And I should all hopefully see you soon in another game somewhere else. See ya, buddy.